Welcome to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where it's happening again. Mo oh god, it's happening again. Uh, I tried doing an Azazel run, and we didn't have the resources to get down to the DLC floor again, despite being very conservative. So, today, we're not going to play as Azazel, because fuck Azazel, we're going to play as Samson. And our goal is always the same thing. Get to the mother fight. Samson, then. Uh, bloody Lust, as he takes damage, uh, he deals more damage. Fantastic power. Uh, starts with relatively average stats, to be honest. Above average speed. A great average tier rate, I think that is. Average damage. Um, pretty much everything is very average about this guy. He also starts with good health. Um, you know, obviously, the, no spacebar item. Other than that, he's very similar to just regular old Isaac. But he starts with Child's Heart. Child's Heart has a chance to give more red hearts. Um, well, obviously, we'll blow that up. If we put it here... It will blow up the Tinsel Rock and both pots. Which turns out was not really worth it. Common Cold gives a poison effect every few tiers. This is a good character. I like Samson. Uh, he's, he's pretty solid. You know, as long as you've got survivability. It may even be beneficial doing an angel run with him. Uh, for the simple reason that. Careful there. For the simple reason that. The more we can get him to take damage, the more damage he will deal. So, if we keep as much red heart potential as possible, we got like a... Fuck off. If we got like a full health pill or something, going into the mother fight, we could be pretty strong. Right, we'll worry about that in a second. Uh, We could pepper the donation machine. I'll think about it. I'm going to just start topping the poor thing back up again. I don't like these flies. They're too unpredictable. I don't know how they work. Is there a pattern to them or do they just take random 90 degree turns? Hello. Little monstros. Let's be careful here. I don't want to lose this heart if we can avoid it. I know we could just pop it. Um, although, to be fair, we could just pop it on this floor. Get. Oh, get out of the way. I don't want you yet. Fine, we'll do that. Did that push it? It didn't push it. Fuck it. Right, let's do that. Grab these fellas. I guess I'm taking that now. I didn't want to take that now. I want to save it for the next floor. What do you get from our item room? Oh, it was common cold. Garbage. Rubbish. It's not that bad, but it's a very, very mild damage upgrade. Certainly better than no damage upgrade. It's certainly better than a lot of other items. It's a solid It's a solid C tier just by virtue of there being so many bad items in the game now, unfortunately. Whoa, careful there. Right, actually, let's deal with his ads first. Give us full, full arena movement. Whoa, that was actually genuinely just insanely lucky. Stop. Hey, die. Right, there we go. Mm. Okay. Now we're on to something. Now we're good. By what that, I mean just with terms of the monster fight. We're not, we're not good overall. We're very much not good overall. The Isaac series on this channel is actually doing pretty damn well, obviously, because I've only done so far, what, like Morrowind, Oblivion, uh, Skyrim, all RPGs, so I guess moving it over to here gives it a bit of variety, breathes some life into it, but you guys seem to like it, so I'm not going to stop it anytime soon. That's pretty fantastic. And let's jump. Growth hormone, literally just a speed damage upgrade, and it's also one third of what we need for the spun transformation, which gives us even more damage. I do not like Dross. These enemies are horrible. Stay away. Worst floor? Well, I mean, we haven't been to Gehenna yet. We unlocked Gehenna at the end of yesterday. Um, so that'd be kind of interesting to see what they've got going on down there. Given that it's an alternate floor of the mausoleum, which already seems to be pretty hard. I'm not feeling that one. I feel like that one could be... Ah, oh, you big bitch. That, that one could be quite tough. Okay. Let's be careful. I'd rather not throw away this half a heart if we can avoid it. Yeah, no, it's doing it's doing pretty well. So I'm not going to not gonna end it anytime soon. I might get bored of Isaac eventually and then... You know, I'll end it there, but uh, I'm happy to keep it going as long as I'm in invested in the game. Which will probably be until we've unlocked a lot of things. I don't know. It really depends. It's quite a time investment. I remember runs being like 30 minutes or so, but that's obviously from playing like uh, just, just doing like win streaks and stuff with all the items unlocked. Knowing what everything does. Having a set path every single time. It was uh, it was a lot it was a lot more str uh, streamlined, for lack of a better word. It wasn't necessarily... Well, I mean, it was easier back then, too, but it was a lot more streamlined. We'll get that eventually. Uh, you have complete shit. How dare you? 
I'm not gonna shoot those poops. Not not in this floor. With everything sending us everywhere. I think I'm alright. Right, what is in here? Anything? Oh god, hello. Some individual enemies, like these guys really aren't that difficult, are they? Like this mini duke of flies for lack of a better word. But then those horrible speedy poops are horrible. Oh, I guess we'll take this. Human lacria. We fire very slow, but very powerful tears. It's actually pretty good. I, I, I quite like it. And they obviously explode into more shots. Good for dealing with ads. Lil Blub. Lil Blub is the perfect guy to be fighting with Hema Lacria, I would argue. Even if we miss, we can still take out all his little friends. This arena is horrible for Lil Blub. Not like this. Oh, and all the shots from Hema Lacria too. If you see that when we've got the poison effect. Those will also all individually deal poison. Okay, careful. Uh. Come on, little blood. Work with me here. This arena sucks. I hate this one. Be fine with something like Azazel, right? Or, or any sort of flying. Ah, oh, that's not bad. Damage upgrade, health upgrade. Guppy's head. I mean, we'll take that for, for sure. Inst multi dimensional baby. I suppose there's more of a reason to take that. But I think keeping his... Oh, God. Look at his fucking eyes. Uh, keeping as much health as possible here is a bit more beneficial than... I mean, with him and it works because you can kind of amplify your shots over a long distance. Range is going to be our big killer now, I think. Actually, the range isn't terrible. Well, let's see how we get on. Tears upgrade is what we're really looking for at this point. Whoa, bloody hell. Careful. We got the bombs. We do have the bombs. Got everything we need this time. Jesus. We tried playing as his Azel. I didn't have any of this shit. It's ridiculous. Actually, Himalakria Spectral Tears that we'll have with the Lost in a minute is going to be very, very nice. Ability to just stand behind rocks and fire this giant, like, <laughs> artillery, for lack of a better word, through there. No. Okay. Hello. Curse Rooms? Forget it. Honestly, I'm not I'm not really too bothered. Like I said, I want to keep as many... I, th I think survivability is going to be our key one here, particularly with the majority of our power come from taking damage. Though we're kind of getting to a stage where I guess we don't have to worry about that anymore. Ooh. Last one. Okay. These floors are horrible. Not only the enemy is quite tough, but then you've got all the kind of stage effects too. Kind of fucking Rainbow Road on Smash Bros or something. Rainbow Road? Rainbow Ride. Not Rainbow Road. Why haven't they added that yet? That would have been, been a classic one to add. Right. I'm not shooting the poops. Forget the poops. Have we seen the white fire yet for the, for the lost? I think we have. These enemies are kind of cool. When I first saw them, I was like, holy shit, that's a lot from one enemy. But the fact that their bodies kind of disintegrate over time, I quite like that. Right. Oh, another coin. Pays to shoot poop. Oh, here we go. Boss them. Uh, Dross boss could be... Yeah, okay, here we are. Colostomia. So people were saying in the comments yesterday that this guy leaves behind clouds. And the bot bombs ignite the clouds. So that's what I've got to watch out for. That's a horrible attack. Oh, right, there you go. Got it. I see it now. I've learned. I'm basically unkillable. Ah. He's also very hard to dodge. Oh, is he dead? Oh, I don't like that. Well, we lost our day with the devil, obviously, because we took damage there, but... Speedball. That's two-thirds of the way to spun. So we're doing pretty great on terms of damage. Let's go open the... We can actually open the ice room now. Actually, why don't we do it as the lost? Well, just in case there's time limit on the lost. I don't know if there is, but... I don't want to gamble it. Right, what have you got for me? Oh, double tinted rock. So that one has a, a smaller tint on it. You have to use two bombs, but they generally drop a lot more. Oh, in this case, the smaller. So we've got damage upgrade. Betrayal. Um, basically, it will, will charm enemies. And they will uh, fight for us, essentially. All right, let's do that. Well, let's head out. Fly a little lost. What is this like? Oh, I wonder if the lost, when we transfer to the other world, will keep... The damage bonus we've got from Samson now. 16.49 damage is actually absurd. Oh, we keep it. Nice. And we got special tiers too. This is going to be easy. Well, I won't say easy. Especially not with the boss. Because I feel like that's going to be quite challenging. Okay. Item room first. We don't have to fight the boss. But it is a free item. But I don't think I'm confident enough to fight him. I'm going to say I'm going to make the executive decision not to fight him. Miss out on an item, but it's not worth the gamble, is it? It's a bit too strong. What have you got for me? Potentially. 
a spirit heart. Or nothing at all. 1 in 10. I mean, granted, we weren't supposed to go in there. It is 1 in 10, but Jesus. Okay. Let's head out then. We're doing pretty good in terms of, like, damage and resource and everything. I didn't think it was worth gambling that fight. If that makes me a coward, good. Uh, give me one of those. I'm also going to blow you up too. Or I'm going to put on a coin in it, then blow it up. Right. Let's just leave it with five coins. So what I'm looking for with Samson is uh, is an arcade. That's why I wanted the five coins there. Get an arcade, get blood bag. I think I would prefer over IV bag. Curse the blind. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, that's not worth it. Bomb and a key for that. Definitely not worth it. God, our damage is great. Even without bloody lust. We don't really need any more. Oh, come on. And Guppy said, of course. Uh, what are you? Faster explosions. Nope, you're alright. I think that's if you've got, like, um... That would be good for if you had Dr. Fetus, for example. Rapid bombs. There's an item where you can just press E, and, and uh, every time you press E, you can place a bomb. Whereas, by default, there's a delay on it. It's quite a cool idea for an item. Nice. Okay. Curse room? Oh, I could be persuaded. We do have a part of Guppy. And there are six Guppy items now, so in theory, it should be a lot easier to get Guppy, right? Because we unlocked Guppy's Eye at the end of yesterday. Guppy's Eye is such a good item. Uh, that could be very good for Samson. Better than Child's Heart? We'll, we'll think about it. Oh, Jesus. This is taunting me now. Look at all the keys you don't have. Oh, thanks. Really good. And when we play as Kane, we got, like, no golden chest whatsoever. Golden chest can contain all sorts of shit now, it turns out. Alright, well, doesn't really matter too much, I guess. Has he... We've got to wait for him to stop being charmed, right? Yeah. I was looking it up. Like, lead pencil is an item that can apparently just appear in a golden chest. Now, I have to do this. We have to go for it. E have we got the speed? we got 1.4 speed. We should be good. Okay. And we're done. Okay. That was worth it. So now we can open all these golden chests if we feel like. See if see what just cavalcade of items we can get from it. You can also get Guppy's head from a golden chest, but a bit late for that. Right, and another key. Uh, two items in our item room. In our shop, sorry. It's a bit bit annoying. I was seeing if they had any spirit hearts, to be honest. Let's head down here. Okay. Right, slowly. High speed can also be a bit of a, a bit of a curse as well as a blessing. Go on. Crooked Penny, 50-50. Uh, let's use it in the shop once, and then we'll go back and get Guppy's head. So, Crooked Penny doubles either, 50% of the time, doubles everything on the floor, or destroys everything. Oh, shit. Red candle, flame on. Sharp key, open your enemies, useless. We doubled Crooked Penny. We can double Crooked Penny. If you double Crooked Penny, I didn't want to buy that. Um, if you double Crooked Penny, you can potentially get another Crooked Penny with a charge on it. Then if you doubled that one, you get another charge on that one. And then if you keep getting lucky, you can potentially get yourself a ridiculous amount of items. So, we'll see if we can set that up. Oh, I thought it was dead. My bad. That's a small enemy. That's bullshit. Well, it's a good job we picked without the spirit heart then, eh? These enemies are horrible. Come on. There we go. Okay. What have you got for me? Oh, this guy isn't too bad. Singed isn't too bad. Ow. Well, careful there. Twilight deals with the devil. Oh, is he means poison? That's a bit frustrating. Oh, God, that's annoying. Uh, Singe? Brother? That's that's illegal. Die. Horrible boss. But we got to deal with the devil. Eyedropper's for tears upgrade is very, very nice with Hemolacria. And we occasionally will fire that other shot with Eyedropper too. <sighs> Go on. Contract from below is great. Book of the Dead is not. Razor Blade is not. Give me that. Let's leave. Contract from low is very good. Apparently, it's only a chance of doubling items now. Whereas it used to be guaranteed. So it's way worse than it was, but it's still probably okay. Uh, really? Rude. Alright, let's go this way. Ten keys. Let's open all these golden chests up. So, I assume if we just bomb that. There we go. Right, what have you got for me? Loads of coins. It's good for the shop. 
So we'll buy. We'll make sure we buy that thing before we... Oh, this is dangerous. Gone. Ah, quick head. Ah, oh, HP upgrade. Hey, that's good. That's actually fantastic. Our damage is very good now. Big fan. Okay, just gotta be gotta be careful with it, cause oh, we haven't got the hit points to be fucking around like that. Oh god, low pins. Okay, come on. Jesus. <laughs> Felt like I was fighting the game there. Our tears rate is so weird now. If I'd recommend this. How are we looking in terms of the run then? I mean, HP is obviously garbage. That's that's the first big concern I've got here. Tears is very good. Damage is actually incredible. Crooked Penny could still do good work for us here. It all depends on this roll. 50-50 chance of doubling that other Crooked Penny. That'd be pretty good. Okay. Let's go and have a look then. Hello. Um, oh, no, but we can't double. You need... Um, we need an item double to double it already, wouldn't we? Danger zone. Big danger zone. Uh, so what were these again? We got sharp key. It's just doubling up all the same items. This is where we need a reroll. This is exactly the situation where this would be fantastic. I can't remember how you used to double double crooked penny. Like I'm losing my line a little bit. Like use it and place it. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's take that. We'll go back for Guppy's head. Crooked penny did did good stuff there for us. But there's not really much else I can do with this stage unless we find like a secret room with loads of shit in it. Loads of battery charges, something like that. Right, Guppy said. You're you're a bit more valuable though. It's too much of a gamble. We need consistency with this. Resources and shit. Secret room? No. Uh I suppose it could also be here. Like here roughly. Well, uh where else can it be? Oh, off of that room in the very top right, it could be in there. Okay, down we go then. Alright. So, what do you think about Cursor and Moon immediately? If you blow these up, you still have to take damage to like, get to the thing, don't you? Oh, no. It's only if they fill a gap, I guess. The Empress. Ooh, that was not worth it. Holy crap. Why did I do that? <laughs> I even said, let's do Cursor and Moon. No, my brain said otherwise. Uh, not really worth it. Oh, our item room, which we fucking can't get to, you big bitch. Let's try this. The Parasite. Oh, my God. That with what we've got already. Split shots, split shots. That's interesting. Holy crap. Well, that'll do it. Just fill a room with tears. I like it. If we got a high luck stat now. Ah, you fucker. If we got a high luck stat now. That'd be pretty fantastic. Wow, this is kind of cool. Got like this weird shotgun blast run going on. Whoa, careful. I can't believe it. Our, our damage really could be... Well, I, I suppose it isn't a problem of damage, is it? I don't know why. It just feels like these enemies are so fucking tanky. Well, maybe it's because they're so... Bollocks! There's fucking things. I hate them. Awful shitty enemies. God. I, I don't know if I, after I finish the DLC whether I will make a habit of coming back to these falls if I just want to play Isaac. I feel like I won't. Oh, jeez. Because everything's like... So much tougher than the main floors. Oh, I'll restock. Oh... We could get that. If only we could get that. Uh, infinite shops, basically. When you buy an item from the shop, it will respawn. They're so unpredictable. Okay. This is the... Ash Pit 1. Well, that was close. Uh, Ash Pit 2. Let's go fight you, then. You can die first. Then we'll go and see how much health that leaves us with for the mum chase. Come on. Nice. Uh, leave that on the floor until we leave. I think it's fine. Let's pay this forward then. Leave that on the floor till we leave. We can get the health back. Let's go and immediately fill up this heart before I lose it on something trivial. Okay. Um, so item room is bad. Shop's good, but we need... A oh, Jesus. But we need a, uh, a couple more coins. Oh, this isn't bad. Um... There's a rock tinted up there as well. Damn it. Okay. Ow. Push pin. Oh, God. 
I'm not sure I can justify that one either. I think I like our trinket. I think I like going for the red heart run right now. So we're going to stick with that. Let's see how we get on with it. All right, Mum Chase. Be fast, little Samson. I assume it resets Lusty Blood as well. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, sorry, Bloody Lust. I'm always going to call it Lusty Blood because Lusty Blood is the better item. So Lusty Blood is, I think I've talked about it before, but it is, is as you deal damage, you gain extra damage. So it's just way better than Bloody Lust in every single way. Unless you get a weird combo with like Ivy Battle Bag or something like that. There might be something else you do it in the DLC, but... Okay. Run fast. We do not have the hit points to fuck around here. Especially because we're only one hit off of losing our Bone Heart. And I'd rather keep that if possible. Ah! Fucking flies. Okay, go on. Right. Let's grab you. As long as they don't give us any of those... Oh, you shit! Open! That's not my fault. You fucking saw that. That is rubbish. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> Never a doubt in my mind. I didn't know where to dodge at that point. I won't lie. <laughs> oh, I hate this bit. It's so crap. Come on. I don't know why they make you do this. I don't know. I, I personally just don't think that's much fun. It's not that difficult, but it's also not that... It just seems like a, a very arbitrary... Let's get rid of some of your health now. So jump through a lot of hoops. Right, let's grab you. Again, I probably won't do any of this when I've actually completed the game, to be honest. I think that's how I'm kind of judging everything right now. Will I come back to these floors if I just want to do a run for fun? Probably not. I hate to say it. Oh, that would give a spun. Uh, all right, I'm in. Might not have been worth it, but we'll see how it goes. What are you, telepills? Balls of steel. Big. Guppy flies, stop wasting yourself. Okay. I wish the flies were a little bit more sensible, but they are flies, so I can't hold that against them. Well, we got a little bit of power to us now, then. Uh, no, still no bombs. If we get bombs from the shop, which we can, because we got restock, uh, or will have restock. How did, what was in this... Well, how did I get the coin in there? Was it a key? Oh, jeez. Uh, shoot the flies. Try everything. We just I just want restock. We can't do much with it on this floor, but the next few floors... We can potentially do really good work with that. Should really check the curse room, especially now we got balls of steel. I suppose we're only a third of the way to Guppy. Might not be worth it. Okay, give me a restart. And hopefully, that will pay off. We're going to get an eternal heart at the end of this floor anyway. So losing the bone heart isn't such a big deal. We haven't lost or gained any, any health overall. Right, onwards. The damage we've got now is going to be pretty insane. Gehenna. Okay. I guess we'll head this way first. Not a fan of this. Not a fan of this. I can teleport me back that way. Okay. Hello. You don't do anything. Lots of teleport pads, aren't there? Gehenna seems like less of a significant version. This feels like what Shoal should have been. It feels weird, this coming bought for before Shoal. This feels like an upgraded version of Shoal. Just like uh, aesthetically, graphically. You know, it feels like a, feels like a variant. kind of bizarre that you get it this early on. Okay, well, that's good, I guess. What do those guys do? Oh, they also fire shots. Wow. Okay, interesting. Let's watch out for that spirit heart there. I'm getting too caught up in look, trying to work out what the enemies do. Not enough on actually dodging those enemies. Holy crap, this could be insane. Jacob's Ladder plus Split Tears. I assume each one of them has the effect then. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is the synergy we've been looking for. I was a little apprehensive about this run at the start, but holy crap. When we get those Parasite... Parasite? When we get those Parasite... Uh, Jacob's Ladder's tears off. Holy crap. That's insane. That's actually so good. Right, restart then. Oh, come on. Dim Bulb. Dim Bulb gives you bonus stats when you do not have an item charged. Given that we've got a spacebar item with a single charge that we're going to be using whenever we get the charge. That is pretty good for us. Wow, this is nuts.
Oh, so much power. Versus the visage. That means face. I assume it just works the same way as Mask of Infamy. The power. What the fuck? <laughs> wow, there we go. What does he look like? Looks like the Punisher or something, eh? Uh, I didn't get a deal with the devil there, which is a shame because I didn't think I took red heart damage, but I might have just taken some while I was watching all the pretty lights because this is kind of cool. Gana 2. Okay. Hello, weird goat men. You guys have guaranteed chance of the deal with the devil. Uh, curse room, not really worth it. God damn, we are like wiping out runes before they even get a chance. This does not seem like a weird pendulum type thing. Oh, that's pretty easy. I was going to say it doesn't seem difficult, but this is cool. This genuinely feels like what Shoal should be. Shoal seems so boring compared to this. Obviously, it needs to be harder for it to be Shoal, but uh, uh, Iron Plate deflects shots, right? So that's survivability. I'll take that. Metal Plate, I should say. Blood some of these skulls if you feel like it. Shoppy. Greed. Ah. Oh. Restart was a gamble that just did not pay off then. We've learned a lesson here today. Okay. Let's head out. Don't try the curse room. No. We got a 100% chance to deal with the devil, assuming I don't get my ass handed to me on the mum fight, which I shouldn't because it's the mum fight. Hello. Do you like lightning? <laughs> ah. This is cool. Big fan of this one. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could try and thread the needle to get that. I don't think I'm going to bother. The Empress is okay. Um, I'm not going to play that. I'm also not going to play you. I wish I could. But with 100% chance to deal with the devil. Not worth the gamble. Excuse me, Goatman. Okay. What happens here then? Press that. Oh, right. Of course, these guys shoot. They do normally shoot, uh, shoot stuff at you. Here we go. What a horrible night to have a curse. Die. Die. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's real good. Right. What have you got for me? Guppies verbal. I've got to take it. Carefully. Spectral tears, though, too. With what we've got going on right now. Spectral laser tears. Oh, I like that. What's in boss rush? Let me take a look. No, I would not take any of these. Uh, what's that? Like, I like... Robo, robo fly? I wouldn't take any of those. Right, down we go. Sweet Samson, look upon the heart. Upon the heart. Taste my lightning, sucker. Oh, jeez, I don't want this. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, Zerg. Well, we've got two hearts left. I'm not feeling optimistic about the mother fight. I won't lie to you. <laughs> Just because I, th I think our damage is fantastic, but I think we're going to get our ass handed to us. Um, let's try this way then. Don't know what you are, and I don't know what you do. And honestly, I'm not interested. Spirit hearts. We'll leave them on the floor. Try and bank as many as we can for the next floor if we do get any spirit hearts. Please die. What if. Oh, is it worth maybe backtracking doing the entire floor at this point, do you think? Possibly. We're only one item off of guppying. Strength. Save that for the mum fight. The mother fight. Oh, I kind of want to do every floor. We'll see how it goes. We might be also be able to create a decent bank of flies here too. If we just enter a room and immediately throw it down. If we get the, the parasite shot. Oh, I might go into the curse room as well. We'll talk about that in a second. Hello. Ah. Oh, friends to die. Uh, Tinted rocks. Can't see any. They're a lot harder to tell because a lot of the rocks just have crosses on on these floors. Scourge. Hello, Scourge. I'm not going to make the Thor joke I made last time. Please die. Sir. This is so many lasers. <laughs> nice. No deal with the devil. That's a shame. That's good, though. Mr. Dolly is fantastic. Moldy heart we can't take. Okay. I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I kind of wish I hadn't taken Mr. Dolly yet in hindsight. Although, we can't go into the curse room with only two red hearts. Because on the way, and you take one damage on the way out, we take a damage and die. Unless we get teleport card, it's not worth it. But I'm going to go back and see what other tasties we can find. Or maybe one red chest is all we need now to take this from, uh, like, a very, very powerful run into uh, an extremely, extremely overpowered run. Each one of those tiers will, of course, also spawn flies. And each one of those tiers that split from Hemolacria 
have a chance to split into parasite tears. All of those will also spawn flies. I don't believe Jacob's Ladder does. Wow, that's nice. It was worth backtracking. Especially when we can clear rooms from, like, such a distance so easily now. We good? We done? No. Why were, why were you not dying? We need to our lightning tears. Right, mob trap room has... No, not worth it. Okay. Hello. Don't mind me. God, that proves how tanky some of these fucking enemies are, eh? I think that took as many shots to kill a Scourge did. Nice. Plenty of flies building up here, too. Because we're not expending any. Is that a bloody library? If we can get, like, Book of Revelations... or oh, Book of Sin. What have you got for me, little fella? So this one is, uh, Book of Secrets. Which I thought showed... Oh, we got Bookworm? We picked up another one? Wait, what the hell did we pick up before now? I have no idea, but Bookworm is also good. So that means our double tiers... Well, I have a chance of doing that. Two tiers followed by a third tier. Wow, that's insane. Here, yeah, we'll pay, play you a little bit. Because we haven't got any use for all these keys. But we do have a use for Spirit Hearts. Oh, you know what? I'm suddenly feeling very confident about the mum fight. Fate's reward. We got flight. Oh, my God. The ability to unlock everything. I think I would prefer that. So, we've got an eternal heart. And we've now got... Which is going to give us a full red heart container. And we've also got the ability to fly. Fly. Spectral tears. Kill everything from a distance. Hey. It's pretty good. Right. Let's head out. We could, we could check the curse room now. I feel a bit more confident checking that at this point. Right, let's go and have a look then. Boy, what a build. I was so worried that this guy would end up being shit, but now we've like we've done it. We bought it back. Uh, it wasn't worth it. We're not gaining anything. We're not losing anything. I suppose we got a few flies and a coin out of it if you want to look at it like that. Okay then. Down we go. Hello. So we're almost at full health. We know that much. I wonder if this curse persists over through into the mother fight. If so, we'll have no idea what health we're on throughout the entire fight. As long as I'm careful. And it's not like I have to aim, is it? Allow me to introduce myself. I am lightning. Oops. I may have accidentally walked into that, but it doesn't matter because we've got a health upgrade. <laughs> right. Here we go, then. I'm not exploring the rest of the floor. Let's kill. And we got strength to take us back up to absolutely full health here. Hello. It's me. Lightning Lord. <laughs> what a visual cacophony. What am I looking at here? We're taking a lot of damage. I'll be honest with you. I'm struggling to... I'm struggling to tell what a, what is going on. I don't know if this is coming across in the video, but it is getting laggy. We've taken, like, genuinely about six hits already. Fuck, it's, like, so stuttery. Jesus! Ah, oh, my eyes! Is she not dead? Hey, fucking die. You're being very rude, madam. The damage we're doing is absurd. How is she not dead? And of course, every hit we're taking is just increasing Samson's strength, so... Come on. Come on. We're making the entire room quake here. Okay, careful that. Careful, 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 careful. Nice, nice, nice. Done. Well, I mean, to be fair, that was pretty insane. On we go. Achievement unlocked. Bloody Gust. What is that then, I wonder? Bloody Gust has appeared in the basement. So let me go and have a look at what that is for you. Uh, for those of you who maybe aren't up to this stage or not playing at all, I guess. Bloody Gust. When Isaac takes damage against speed and tears for the rest of the floor, the speed Isaac gains... Each hit is four times the number of hits Isaac is taken on the floor, plus 0.07. Isaac gains 0.25 tiers on the first hit and 0.1 on all subsequent hits. Both effects stack up to six times for a total plus one speed and plus three tiers. Plus one, plus one speed and plus three tiers is actually quite a lot. You will hit with any character max speed with the exception of, I believe, Maggie. Um, plus three tiers is also a massive DPS bonus. Done. That was a good one today. Thank you for watching. That's another character ticked off with our many-character list.